What comes to mind when you say the Highlands? Both individuals have committed the same crime, but the tone of the Highlands are different. Do you make contrasting assumptions about the individuals in the Highlands? What why may this be? Today we will explore the phenomena of media bias through the lines of Bonjou by considering how different forms of capital may influence our perceptions of people. Headline one is in reference to Emma, a girl who is from a wealthy family who owned multiple properties in affluent suburbs. While headline two is in reference to Anna, whose family has recently inherited a large amount of money, allowing them to buy a new house in a relatively affluent suburb as well. These are examples of economic capital, which are things that. Can be immediately and directly convertible into money. Emma and Anna have similar levels of economic capital, and they have both committed the same crime. So something else must be contributing to the different headlines. Maybe it's their social or cultural capital. Social capital refers to the benefits one gets from their social networks and the relationships with others. The difference between Emma and Anna's profile in the media is an example of the gains one can get from their social capital. Emma's parents are both distinguished lawyers, and their family is highly respected among people with high status. They also have connections with people in powerful positions, leading to a more positive characterization of Emma. Furthermore, Emma's group membership with the Olympic trials swimming team affords her a certain level of reverence among the public. This is in stark contrast with Anna, whose family is unknown to any influential groups and all the media. Because of Anna's limited associations with others in high-class positions, she performs poorly in press conferences regarding her crime. While Emma, who has attended exclusive dinners and mingled with important people, appears charismatic and confident in front of the cameras, this is an example of embodied cultural capital, which is acquired over time via socialization and describes the way you act and think. More broadly, cultural capital describes the accumulation of knowledge, behaviors, and skills that demonstrate someone's social status. And promotes their social mobility. Interestingly, Emma and Anna go to the same prestigious high school, yet this is formed differently in the Highland. This is because Anna is not the typical student at the prestigious high school, having transferred from another school with no academic awards. Whereas Emma is decorated with awards from debating and writing competitions. These are examples of institutionalized cultural capital, which describes things that formally recognize someone's cultural capital. Emma and Anna also have different level of objectified cultural capital, which are objects that represent one's cultural capital. For example, Emma has instruments and artworks at home, exemplifying her high social status, while Anna has none of this in her position. The media's treatment of Anna is an example of the legitimation of Emma's dominant position in society. Note the language differences. Emma is accused of the crime, while Anna has already committed the crime in the eyes of the dominant. Symbolic violence is a form of non-physical violence that illustrates and reinforces the power differences between social groups. Two other components of symbolic violence exist: ignorance of the arbitrariness of domination and internalization of the domination by the dominated. Here, Emma does not. Realize the privileged position she is in compared to Anna. In fact, Emma believes she deserves the favorable treatment by the media. Unfortunately, Anna also internalizes her domination, believing the media's discriminatory stereotyping is justified and that she is the problem. This is symbolic violence. Bourdieu's theory of capital captures the post-industrial social world by considering every type of capital an individual can articulate through social relations, not just their economic capital. If we instead consider this situation through Marx's perspective, differences in our perceptions of Emma and Anna would not exist because they share the same economic capital. However, this is not the case.